The Ministry of Agriculture, Food Production, Fisheries, Cooperatives, and Rural Development, through its Extension and Advisory Services Division, presents Tutorials for Peri-Urban Home Gardening. In today's edition of Tutorials for Peri-Urban Home Gardening, we ask, what is agriculture and how important is agriculture to us as a people? I love agriculture. It means food and shelter. Agriculture is really life. Agriculture is the backbone of society. Agriculture is life. Without agriculture, you and I would not be here. It is our source of local food. It is a means by which we obtain more or less our natural resources. Agriculture is important to me because it helps me learn more about my country, the environment and how to eat healthy and the importance of it all. Agriculture is really one of the, the, the bedrock um, sectors. And I say bedrock because out of agriculture we have many of the, the, the other sectors. Many of the other sectors depend on the, the, the raw materials and the products that come out of, of the agriculture subsector in order for them to do their own processes, the value added, and, and so on. I'm talking about agriculture in all forms of way, um, like vegetables. You will not be healthy. Fruits, you will not be a healthy person. You cannot live without fruits, you cannot live without vegetables, you cannot live without the food. Agriculture means producing food, producing you know, vegetables, livestock, just, just name it. And without food, we perish. If somebody don't eat food, you perish. So you must have food, you must have agriculture, you must have plants, you must have animals, you must have bees. All those things are very are vital to agriculture and to ourselves and to the ecosystem, to biodiversity and the like. Now that we know what agriculture is, let us determine how important it is to us in our everyday lives. Let us hear from some individuals whose lives have been impacted by agriculture. As a quarantine officer, my work impacts a great deal on agriculture because the main role of quarantine is to protect the island from the entry and spread against exotic pests plant pests and diseases that is. Fish has been found to be a very healthy alternative and in that aspect we try to develop and manage the sector so that it is available now and in the future. So we, we, we instruct people on the best practices to realize the sustainable use of our marine resources and likewise the aquaculture section whereby the, that is fish farming on land. The production of livestock um, ranging from bees to poultry, large and small ruminants inclusive of sheep, goats, pigs and cattle. The focus over the years have changed but to me as an agricultural officer the main importance is to directly impact on our importation of livestock products. As a teenager now, you know, with all the, the taxation and fat and this stuff, we can learn how to grow our own food and to um, 
help our own self using the ground that we used to, you know, people say they don't want to be a farmer anymore, but because of the taxes now and all the money is getting harder, we can use that to help ourselves. Agriculture is important to me because I grow what I eat and I eat what I grow. We could um, control whatever, especially in St. Lucia, we have um, good soil, good soil, and um, we can eat healthy too. Agriculture is very important because when I was born, I was born with a fig. We were fig, we were born with a 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 fig. Il y a ma tout le temps, mais où est-ce que maman à présent même pas tient et même manger, manger la terre à présent. Nous pas blâmer, mais moi même pas j'aime, pas qu'à manger, tu manger la terre moi. Moi même, surtout ça, ça c'est important pour nous en pays. Of course, agriculture is always the most important for people, for human being, I guess. So, so everyone, every day, need to eat. Right? It doesn't matter which which place you go. So tourism is important for. For a local economy, but uh, basically, tourist is a kind of a leisure, right? But fundamentally, everyone needs food to eat. Agriculture is, of course, it doesn't matter. With the school feeding program, meals are prepared for the children, and agriculture plays a very important role in that. We use products from agriculture to prepare our meals, so we use the locally produced foods in our meals as much as possible. By doing that, the children develop a, 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 a taste for what is grown locally and um, they, they will understand the importance of these local foods in their diet also. From the time I started beekeeping about 20 years back, it changed the way I do agriculture order because I'm a vegetable farmer. I was a banana farmer, so the bees allowed me to think of how to use chemicals because if you're dealing with bees, um, there is chemical is not going with bees. So I think it, it's allowed me to keep the atmosphere very, very clean. So um, bees and agriculture can go hands in hand because without bees, I will say um, we are dealing with a dead island. Agriculture, as we have just heard, is the industry responsible for all the food that we eat. But what else comes from agriculture? I can't consider it agriculture in a way because without the tree I can't make the furniture. So I have to go in the forest, the forest is agriculture. I have to get the wood, sow the wood, to can make the boards, and from the board then start making the, the furniture. Because when you, when you build a house, you must have furniture inside of the house. So it is very important. Just imagine you had dry rivers at this time of the year. Agriculture would suffer tremendously because agriculture cannot survive without water. And of course here at the Nutrient Country Life, we, we employ people in our ecotourism venture. We have tour guides, we have people who, who, do, the, who do gardening, people who do the maintenance. And all, most of it is because of, of the agro-tourism factor, the agro-tourism project we have in Atlantic Country. Like this. Agriculture impacts on what I do tremendously. It's a livelihood. This is what I'm into full time. One, um, because of the other areas um, that are pull together to bring about or establish in a landscape, you find that um, there are people that are employed. So there's this economic aspect where it's not just the purchasing of plants, but the employment of staff so that other families are affected in terms of the monies that comes into the household. We look at the nurseries from where we buy these people um, benefits, and then we look at the workers 
who, who help in the establishment of the garden. These are very important people who, are, who earn from this practice. And it all begins because we need plants, we need soil, we need to restore an area, so we need to bring back the birds. Everything pulled together. Even with the knowledge of agriculture, the environmental entity, it pulls together and make, it, make a dynamic impact on landscape establishment. Agriculture is essential. Without agriculture, I will not get the herbs I use. I need to make the medications, the herbal medications. We know that um, if you have a healthy diet, one, you know, high in fiber, low in fats, uh, that is associated with habits like exercising or avoiding smoking or limiting alcohol, that you can actually reduce your risk of cancer. So agriculture being the, the source of anybody's uh, uh, foods and the, the, the diet that they consume plays an important role in the overall health of any human being. Um, and it's not just cancer, it's also every chronic illness that you know of. So we think that agriculture has an important role to play in the overall well-being of a nation as far as illnesses are concerned and as far as productivity. What comes to mind is, um, is the whole ecosystem, mm -hmm. um, from the plants um, to uh, the flora and fauna of the island, you know, mm -hmm. animal life, um, the trees, the rivers, um, and, and basically um, what sustains it. Also, it is very vital for, for foreign exchange earnings. As you know, if we are not earning foreign exchange, it's going to be difficult for us to, to access goods and services from outside of St. Lucia. And agriculture provides the avenue um, through which we earn foreign exchange. Many people will know of the banana industry and the amount of foreign exchange that we get out of that. But we have other um, subsectors within agriculture itself that help us to earn um, foreign exchange. As we have just heard, agriculture is all around us. No matter your profession or just who you are, in some way, somehow in your life, you will be impacted by agriculture. Let us make it our business to grow at least a small portion of what we eat and to eat as much as possible that which we grow. Until next time, I am Vernette James. I thank you for joining us.